The iDrive 300 motor controller has a five position manual override which offers two off positions for safer control. Now on the high voltage side of the iDrive, you have an open and closed contactor with a built-in mechanical interlock to prevent the motor from being driven in both directions at the same time. You also have a built-in two second delay when reversing direction. A built-in thermal overload to protect motors from shorts, surges, wiring errors, or obstructions. A thermal overload adjustment and a thermal overload chipping mechanism. There's also a 24 volt transformer for master version iDrives which provides power for electronic controller relays and limit switches. A fuse to protect the internal 24 volt transformer. A voltage selector wire for line input voltage. Line inputs for single phase 120, 208 and 240 and three phase for 208, 240, 480 and 575. Also motor outputs for three wire and five wire motors. Now on the low voltage side, which consists of the J2 portion of the circuit board, which has the close, open, and thermal overload wiring going to it, as well as two 24 volt transformer wires. To slave this device, you would disconnect the two 24 volt transformer wires and cap them independently. You also have a power LED to indicate that the power is on. You also have bypass limits, which you can bypass the open and closed limits by just simply moving the J3A and the J3B jumpers from one side to the other. Also on the J1 portion of the circuit board, you have daisy chain control, which allows you to daisy chain multiple controllers together. You can have up to four I drives in one continuous chain. If the master drives, the slaves will follow. This is commonly used for vent and sidewall simultaneous operations. What you do is take the J1 section 9 through 12 of the master and daisy chaining them to the J1 section 1 through 4 of the following I drive and so forth. There is also limit switch control which is 7, 6 and 5. Now limit switch control allows you to connect three low voltage wires to the motor gearbox for limit switch control. Now in regards to the jumper assembly on the motor gearbox, those are pre-installed per manufacturer's specifications. And finally, we have the iGro controlling the iDrive, the location where the environmental controller will automatically control the iDrive device which will control the motor. And what we have here is two wiring assemblies for the iGro 100 series controller and the iGro 1000 series controller. You see the iDrive can be wired to any neighboring pair of iGro outputs that start with an odd number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. and positive 1 would be for the open signal, positive 2 would be for the closed signal, and 24 volts would go to the negative of both outputs to provide power throughout the two channels. Now with the iGro 800 it's a dry contact closure but for the iGro 1000 series you would have to remove hardware interlock jumpers as well as the, the common jumpers. And that's our iDrive overview.